Hi, welcome to the Amber Shows. I'm at my neighbor's pool, which I love. It's going to be a hot day, so I may or may not get in it. I'm not sure. But happy Thursday. Welcome to Over the Hump Day. Listen, I have some breaking, breaking news. Can you believe this? Four Confederate flags were placed in front of the church that the nine people were killed at. They overnight, last night, somebody put four Confederate flags on the property. They replaced the flags. They have security cameras. They're looking over it now. The police have been called. And that is unbelievable. There's a war on black people around the world. This is letting you know we don't care nothing about you, the nine people that got killed, or anything. The flags were replaced with Confederate flags at the church where the nine people were murdered. Man, oh man, this is a land of laws and policy. We have to have a specific ask so policies and laws can be changed. Right now, the laws and the policies are not on our side. This month of July, which is almost over, four black women have died in police custody, in jail, that were pulled over for no good reasons not to die over. The Constitution, we have the right to videotape as long as you are not in the way. Everyone should know this. If uh, you see someone being abused or hurt and you have your camera or your, their, your phone, you have the right to videotape them no matter what the police officer says as long as you are not obstructing what they are doing. If you are videotaping them and you're the one that's being questioned, you have the right to videotape them as well, as long as you are not obstructing them, which means you have to be at a safe distance, at least 10 to 20 feet away, so a person can videotape you on the street if they want to. A lot of times the police will say, get away, get away, and, and you can videotape, you can. It is your right, and it's also your right if you're in the car and you've handed them your registration and your driver's license, but as soon as they started to walk over to the car, as soon as you're pulled over, you have a right to videotape them. Remember, Sandra Bland did that, and she was killed, but you don't want to die over it, but you have a right. All right, now, in Cincinnati, there was nothing that this guy, Sam, did that required him to be shot in the head. The police officer who has shot shot this man in the head when they pulled him over. He was a father of 10 in Cincinnati. Uh, uh, he had no reason to be killed. The police officer pulled him over, said his front tag was missing, and they got into a verbal altercation. Now, if he thought, he, the police officer at, at first said that the, the Sam was trying to run him over, which they saw on the cameras, that that was not the case, that he blatantly shot this man in the head. So he has been indicted, but that doesn't mean anything. They have all these organizations now, just like with George Zimmerman, where they raise money to get for, their de for, for the defense of people who are killing black people. Uh, they have all these, just like with George Zimmerman, when he, he raised all the money. And then they end up, they go to court, they, they go to trial, they're found innocent, and then they make book deals and they get, may have speaking engagements. This is no big deal just because he has been indicted. So let's not be fooled about that. Um, if he thought, for instance, that the guy was trying to pull off, you, don't, you pursue him. That's what you do as a police officer. You don't shoot him in the head or you call for backup. The moment you don't obey their commands, they are willing to use legal force. We need to stop uh, battling each other when there's a bigger enemy who wants to take all of us out. Uh, while the police kill us, the big enemy is white supremacy. We don't have certain opportunities because the system is already set in place against us. Remember, this is how the United States was founded. We came over here and killed the Indians and displaced those that were still alive. Now, there's an app called Mobile justice. 
Uh, it, you can get it for iPhone, Android users. It's available for everybody. What, you, what it does is as soon as you are getting ready to get pulled over, you just hit that app and it films right away. So you could just leave it right on your dashboard while you're talking and, uh, and, and interacting with the police officer. And while it films, it partners with ACLU across the country and the video is automatically archived to their records. So they have it on record, anything that transpired during your stop. So everybody make sure you get that app. If you have a smartphone, it's called Mobile Justice. Also, you need to learn to calm down if you're being stopped. I know a lot of times you may feel not, you're not justified for being stopped, but just calm down and try and always have all your right information not try but have it have your driver's license have your insurance papers have your tags on your car when you're right you know it's much better to be right so learn to calm down so that you'll be the one to defuse the situation and uh, save your own life four black women remember died in police custody in july and this is not even the end of july since January 1st, 2015, 536 black people have been murdered by the police across this country. So this is a very serious situation. I don't, I, you know, once again, I'm the one who says I don't believe no more in this marching and this protesting. We have to get specific laws passed and policies passed that are in our favor. And the worst part of it is we're also killing ourselves. Black people, these black children, these black teenagers, these gangs, we're doing their job for them as well. We're making their job even easier. So you have to learn, you know, the parents, you got to educate them. We need more mentors. We need more big boys clubs. We, we need more things in our communities where we're all reaching out as a family and helping one another. It takes a village so that we can stop all these killing between ourselves because it's a real war on us right now, men and women that are black. Uh, people are also outraged about this dentist who killed Cecil the lion. It's ridiculous. Uh, he actually has uh, 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 now he has uh, police protection. They're watching his home. You know, that's another thing I wanted to say. They killed this man, shot this black man in the head, uh, who, the, who the police officer's been indicted, the man Sam, who was killed. And the guy who killed uh, the uh, nine people, I mean, uh, the guy who killed the people in the movie theater, they actually marched him out of the movie theater and uh, also had him in a uh, bulletproof vest and they stopped at a at a, a Burger King to get him something to eat. So they don't care about us at all. Um, this Cease of the Lion, uh, that, that was a tragedy. You know, he's rich. Rich people are out there going on safaris and just going and killing animals. We have very few lions and tigers even left in the world. It's almost, they're almost extinct. And he's paying $55,000 to go on a safari and kill an animal that's in a national uh, reserve where people were actually enjoying that animal. Um, Joyce Mitchell was arraigned for helping escaped inmates uh, out of New York uh, last month. Uh, she said that uh, Matt, the one who was killed when they uh, captured him, were trying to capture him, made her feel very special. Uh, she said that um, he promised that he would be with her once they uh, were on the lam. But she ended up getting scared and not going with them. And of course, Matt was killed and the other guy, David, was captured. Uh, Martin is coming back this fall of 2015. Uh, this is rumored. I believe it's true. I saw it. I hope it's true. Uh, Tashina Arnold is a friend of mine. So I've already reached out to her to ask her if it's true. I haven't heard back from her yet because she is quite busy. you got to watch her programs, too. She has another program called uh, Survivor's Remorse. Uh, so Ashante is the one that would be taking Tisha Campbell's role as Gina. Uh, remember years ago, um, G uh, G Gina, Tashina Arnold, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Tisha Campbell, she had uh, uh, accused Martin of sexual harassment. So um, congratulations to Tashina, my friend. Plus, uh, don't forget, watch her uh, to China Arnold and um, Mike Epps on Survivor's Remorse. Uh, check your, your listings for when it comes on. 
uh, Terrence Howard's wife, his ex-wife, she's a psycho. She sees he's getting money again from Empire, and she just won't let it go. She already got paid the money she was supposed to get from the prenup, and now she's uh, after him again, saying that uh, he beat her senseless, senselessly years ago, and she's just trying to badmouth him as bad as she can. Uh, the boys in the Atlantic Ocean, the two young boys, where they found their capsized boat here in Florida, um, they, uh, they're still missing, unfortunately. And I still, they still would, would have hope that hopefully because of their skills on the water that they may be somewhere alive. Uh, Zeon Harvey, he's a little boy in Philadelphia, eight years old. This is really great news. He got two hand, he got hand transplants. He lost his hands and his feet from a very bad infection when he was a little kid, little baby. And now at eight years old, unfortunately, another child died, but the family donated the hands of that little child. And now Zeon Harvey has two hands. He has prosthetics for his legs and feet, but for his hands, he was so happy. He was so intelligent. At a news conference, they showed him he came out and he had his family actually stand up at eight years old and say, thank you so much. This was a hard thing and I made it through. And then they asked him at eight years old, does he have anything to say to children around the world? He said, yes, don't ever give up and know that your dreams can't come true. So that was a really great thing. Congratulations, Zion Harvey. Uh, he thanked, uh, he, he told his family, he said it's been a bumpy road. Uh, so he's, he's really a wonderful child, and the person, the family who gave him the hands, uh, they must be uh, feeling very gratified as well. $150,000 was left on a curb by an armed guard by mistake. And they have it on film because uh, 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 the business had a security camera, but they left it right on the curb, this guy. He left $150,000 in cash on the curb when they showed the, him pull up. When they realized that they left it, they called back and asked the people to run outside to see if it was there, and it was gone. They did see it show on camera a, a car pull up and just happened to pick it up and was, and was gone. They're saying they don't believe it was an inside story, an inside uh, job. Uh, Maurice Dubois, uh, he was killed by the car. That's the guy I told you who was in the, who was in the car and got shot in the head. And it was such a senseless murder. Uh, again, that cop, I meant to say this, he was a campus police officer, well, so why was he out there anyway? The man who shot uh, the nine people uh, uh, at Burger King, like I said, they had him in a police, in a, in a police vest. So, you know, they, they, they take care of their own. Uh, black people are in danger for minor traffic stops, so uh, you, you be very careful. And there's also another site called anonymous.com. Um, check them out. They have uh, been the ones who, uh, they, they're, 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 they're like totally anonymous. And they sent a message to the jail uh, where Sandra Bland uh, was killed and said that if there's not justice, that they will be, they have hacked into all of the information and the private things, uh, information of the officers there, and they will reveal much of their information if Sandra Bland uh, there's no justice for what happened there. So we don't know what's going to happen with that. So uh, you, I remember I told you also about the, uh, the, the KKK and the, with the Confederate flags which, which drove through the black, little black children's birthday, boys' birthday party. Uh, you know, the, the KKK, they are riding through our communities now, and they're not afraid. So uh, just be aware of your surroundings, keep yourself calm, and let's try and change some of these laws. Our president has done the best that he could do in the situation that he's in, but look at all of our people that they have killed. Medgar Evers, they killed Malcolm X, they killed Martin Luther King, they killed John F. Kennedy because he was trying to go with civil rights. You know, so it, we have to change policies, we have to change laws. That's the only way that justice will actually be on our side. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll let you get a good look at all my beautiful surroundings of my godmother's house. And thank you for coming to the Amber Shows. Be careful. Be safe.